Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Ashley and this is Martin Midlife Misadventures and today we're going to flower it up and we're going to use a different grain today. We are going to use oatmeal and we are going to try these doggy treats. Now this recipe I pulled from Pinterest forever ago and I have not tried it for my dogs. The reason I pulled it is because it said it was safe for humans and for dogs to eat and it sounds and looks really healthy. So let's make some doggy treats. We'll have the doggies test them and we'll find out if they're going to eat them. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, friends, these are the ingredients for our puppy treats. First thing we need is 100% pure pumpkin, one cup of it. It's important the only ingredient on the can is pumpkin. The next thing we need is a half a cup of creamy peanut butter, and it is very important that it is xylitol-free. You need to look at the back and look for an ingredient that is spelled X-Y-L-I-T-O-L. If that is in your peanut butter, do not give it ever to your animals, okay? Next thing we're going to need is two and a half cups of oatmeal. I'm using old-fashioned, but you can use the quick. It does not matter for this recipe. This recipe calls for a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm probably only going to use a half a teaspoon because... I'm not sure how much my dogs really like it, but it actually is good for your dogs. And the honey, we're going to need a fourth a cup. Now, I actually found out that some knockoff honeys have that xylitol in it, okay? So you really need to make sure, turn your honey around, look for the ingredients, okay? Let me, let me get close so you can see. There needs to only be one ingredient, honey. That's it. It is very important. Now I'm going to get it all measured out and into a bowl. All right, friends. I have one cup of pumpkin, a half a cup of creamy peanut butter, a quarter cup of honey, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon in this container. And I am going to just take this spoon and mix it all up. That took literally like two seconds to mix up and it completely smells like pumpkin pie in this kitchen now. Now I have two and a half can, uh, cups of oats. I'm using old fashioned. You can use any kind of oats you want because they are good for dogs. And we're going to mix this all up and get it incorporated. All right, I have it completely mixed up. It only took me a minute or so. I really made sure it was mixed very well together. I have this little uh, scoop here. It's a one inch, I think, and I'm gonna make little balls out of this dough. There I go, I have a scoop. We're gonna just put them out like that all over this wax paper. All right, friends, I've got 16 of the bigger ones, and I did put some teeny tiny ones here for the Chihuahua, and we still have all this in the bowl. So I think I'm going to get at least another dozen, but what we need to do now is put these in the refrigerator and let them chill for at least 30 minutes before we give them to the dogs. It'll really harden up things, and they won't be so messy for them to eat. And believe me, we're going to do a taste test. All right, friends, they're nice and firm. I just took them out. We're going to get a little one for the Chihuahua, and we're going to get a bigger one for Ryan. Let's see. Okay, guys, where are you? Come here. Come here, little honey. Okay, you got to sit. Sit. There's yours. Oh, gently. Oh, is she going to eat it? Here's Lonnie's. Oh, do you like it? Try it. You don't know what to think? Oh, you ate yours gone. Oh, she's going to try to go after that big one. Look at her go. Look at her. Okay, Chihuahua approved. Let's try a, a smaller bite. Smaller bite. Oh, nope. Look at this, guys. You're not going to eat it? She doesn't like it, guys. And this one's got the giant one trying to eat the whole thing. 
Well, I guess we got our answer. It is definitely Chihuahua approved. But not so much for the St. Bernard. All right, friends, you win some, you lose some. Definitely a winner with the Chihuahua. She ate that entire big piece. I tried a little bite of it. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. I think it's a good protein treat. It's not very sweet at all. I mean, at all. So the fact that humans could eat this too, I think that's a pretty good deal. Now, I got this recipe forever ago, and I pulled it off of Pinterest, so I don't really know where I got it. I never thought I'd be sharing this with other people. So I wrote down in my notes, good in the refrigerator for one to two weeks and good in the freezer for one to two months. That's what my notes say. So anyway, I'm going to freeze most of these. I'm going to actually, I'm going to give more than half of them to grandpa and mom because they have five dogs, two which are big. They have a St. Bernard and they have a, a pit bull. And I'm pretty sure they're going to like these cookies, but I'm going to still keep trying with Ryan and all you guys with chihuahuas. That little chihuahua ate that huge, big chunk of it, all of it. She ate it gone. She only has two teeth in her mouth. She's a little old lady, two teeth and she loved it. So I'm thinking this is very worth it for our little old lady Chihuahua, and we'll just have to find something new for Ryan. I hope you all enjoyed seeing how to make these easy doggy treats, and let us know if you give them a try. I know that they're not cheap, so maybe it's more of a little dog treat than a really big dog treat, but I'll get you posted if she changes her mind. Thank you all so much. We're going to be talking to you really soon. God bless you.